Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, today we're gonna just uh, actually I just get off the work off of work. It's about 5:36. Uh, we're gonna go check our bees. We have about two or three nukes that um, I think are ready to go to a regular deep. Um, and then also we have some that we're going to add some honey supers to. Honey flow has already started, um, but they need room to grow, so we're going to give them room to grow, and hopefully we'll have a good honey uh, honey flow. So uh, I want to show you where we're at on our steps with our uh, hive, and I'm doing this alone. Uh, Ms. Mac is inside cleaning, so it does not look like I'm going to have any help. So uh, our famine might be uh, few and far in between. But I'm going to show you what we can show you, and uh, show you kind of what steps we are going from nuke to deep, and then from deep to bigger deep, and then from two deeps to uh, super. So uh, we'll kind of walk through that. All right, we're at the bee yard that's actually at our homestead. Uh, we've got a few boxes there. And then we've got a few boxes over here. The wood on top signifies that it was baited with uh, a queen cell, but had not had a queen as of yet. But I, I know that little nuke right here in the middle, right here, and then this one here, both are just stacked with bees. So I think we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna check that one as well. But uh, we've got a few little, a little one, and we got a great hive right here, one of the main splits. Uh, we've got a little swarm that we call that I'm not sure if they're absconded or they're still there. And then we got two more. So we're going to go through those right quick. All right, so we're in the first hive. We've opened it up. We got that one frame out of the way. This hive, we baited with uh, cells. Um, this was the, the queen cells. That, I mean, the, excuse me. We've had two queens pop out, see that? But they've made two more queen cells. So we've either got a virgin queen or we're needing to have another queen because the queen didn't make it. So um, no new cells. I mean, no, excuse me, no new open brood or anything. So we either have a virgin queen or either we have, um, or either she's in there and they'll have to kill off the other queen cells. But I'm not going to get rid of those two new queen cells just because I hadn't seen any. Uh, any signs of a of a queen yet so we're gonna let that one be let's pop this open all right no queen there you always check your top especially when you don't have it excluded because you never know what you're doing. let's see here Got some good bees in here, but again, not ready to expand any by no means. All those frames are just nothing on them yet because we just expanded to. All right, here you go. Look at this. Look at all that new brood there. That's open brood, some closed brood, or all closed brood. A few pieces of open brood right there in the middle. So you see that larvae right there. So doing good. No queen. I don't see the queen yet on that frame, but. I don't expect her to be on that frame, but it's good that she's laying now. She's on the fourth frame laid. Let's pop these other two open and see if we can find her. All right, I could not find the queen on the side, but look at the bees. And I don't know if you can hear them. They're so quiet. It's like they're not even in existence. Um, it's because they have a great queen. She is a brand new queen, so she is not marked. I haven't seen her yet. I'm still looking, but she has got bees everywhere. She's got four frames of closed and open brood which is a great queen uh, to start off with well I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this one this one is one of our splits that we've moved up to a deep last week or excuse me two weeks ago but it is doing really good great set of bees all right see if you can see the queen she's right there uh, she just wanted to see her well you can't see her because she's actually underneath She's doing great. Look at all this closed brood. See all those little closed up cells right there. That's all little closed brood, little larva. This hive is doing great. So very pleased with this one. It's not really expanded to a second deep, but it has got beautiful, beautiful bees. All right, this is our second new. You see how there's bees on literally every frame, which I'm gonna show you more, but 
Look at them, they're everywhere. So this one is ready to go to a deep. Once you got five frames, uh, they're, you know, they're, they were bearded on the front, which they're kind of all back in and flying now because I've kind of messed with them. But uh, we're going to go ahead and expand this to a deep right quick. So basically we'll take these five frames out, put them in the middle and put five frames around it and make one deep. All right, so we'll take these. I'm going to put these in here. So this one we'll put right there. All right, we'll slowly get these out because again, we baited this one. And you see me bees is it's in here. I imagine there is a fresh queen. Uh, we won't know until we get into this, but let's see if we can what we got here. Now, normally I would not leave that comb on the bottom, but in this case we are just because it, it was a fresh hive. We took it out of a, we baited the, the hive basically with some honey. So they're using this frame now. So you see how they've got all that extra comb on the bottom? You never want that. But at the same time, you would never have this, what they call a super frame, a short frame or foundation in this base but the reason I got that again it was baited with honey and so we kept the kept the um, bees in there just until they kind of felt comfortable on the split so you're just getting everything ready for them so and we'll take the rest out right quick and then show you how we finish it up all right we put the new ones in there we checkerboarded all of them but the, the middle two here because this is the one that had the queen cell on it and also some new brood didn't find a queen but again they have a queen cell that is open so um, I think we're going to be good here, but we did want to expand it because there was bees everywhere. This is where we had baited it before, so we went on and expanded it, checkerboarded it, and I think this hive will be a good hive. So we're going to shake the rest of these bees in here so that way they know where their new home is. A right, quick update so far. So we made that a deep. This one's okay, but it just needs to grow a little bit. I do have a queen cell that's open, virgin queen, I think, in there, um, but uh, we're going to let it, let it kind of be. This one... I expanded to another deep. We had a full, the queen was laying sheep. They had about five frames of, of brood laid and then about three frames of honey and they were working on the, the last two. So we want them to expand. We don't want to give them too much room, but we went on and put a deep on there and moved one frame of brood up. That's what's important. What we found that's important for the queen to get on up there, it seems like it does better when you don't just naturally let it, uh, you could naturally let it just go up. But if you put brood up there with a bunch of nurse bees, so that means bees are already born into the second deep, it tends to do better to me. I, I, that's just my opinion. Again, I'm a rookie beekeeper who um, who doesn't know as much as a lot of people. But that's just me. I always take uh, one one or two brood frames from the bottom box and put in the top box, and that helps kind of uh, bring the queen up, but also help you know maybe kind of start getting them laying in both both uh, deeps because ba ma mainly. This is her two boxes. I won't go in them really other than to check what uh, honey they make. All that stuff we will keep in those two boxes. That way she'll be able to win her as it comes closer to that time. So we're going to check our last four, uh, five hives here. Four really. That one in the middle on the coat crate. Uh, it, I doubt it's going to have anything in there. That was the one that we caught a swarm. Uh, caught a swarm. It just didn't seem like it ever really worked. But we'll check it anyway. Because on this hive... Yeah, you can tell her pretty much from all the other bees right here. Look how big she is. She's just making her way. See all that open brood? I can tell she's been on this frame, but look at her right there. Looking good. All right, we're done with our apiary that is at our house. Um, we've got basically nine very strong hives. Or excuse me, let me go back. We have eight very strong hives and one uh, one ninth one. This, this, it looks like it's going to come around, that little nuke right there. So uh, next to the orchard, we have four there. Again, quick update, the three uh, big boxes at the bottom, the three deeps, uh, doing well. Two are doing very good. The other one is coming along, good bees, but just hadn't seen a good queen lay laying yet. The little nuke is baited. It's got two, uh, two queen cells open and two queen cells still to go. So I don't know if they're killing them off or we have a virgin queen, uh, but we're going to leave it, kind of let it be and see how it goes from there. Uh, over here, three very strong hives, the biggest one being my strongest. Uh, the two other ones are splits that we have. They're doing really well. The little nuke is, is pretty much done. I uh, didn't really have the, the swarm just kind of scotted and we didn't we didn't get to keep them. So uh, two other great hives here. One at the end is starting to really come in with honey flow for us in that top super. As you remember, um, the reason we are kind of young in our bees here at this apiary because we uh, had a terrible winter, not as cold as it was, just rainy. Uh, we lost 
about three hives so we were able to have we went from five to six to four to three so we we have now split back up we we were able to split off another gentleman's hives uh and so we're, we're doing really good compared to where we were this time uh three months ago so i'm hoping that uh fall flow for us will be strong 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 i believe spring flow will be strong but uh, and then of course we have the other apiary at uh, at our other part of our our homestead but uh, this is the one that's actually on our on our grounds with our home so just want to give you an update we hope that you have a great rest of the day great weekend you can see our orchard's doing wonderful our garden's doing great uh, most of all god bless you and we hope that you have a great rest of the evening great weekend and remember this happy homesteading y'all